Hey, how's it going guys? Marsh Games here and welcome back to the Minecraft 1.14 survival. Today, we're going to be looking for diamonds. Just completely going all the way to the bottom of the Minecraft world. Down to these caves and finding ourselves a bunch of diamonds, a bunch of other cool ores. It's really going to help us with our survival. But before we do that, I'm going to show you what I've done. Between last episode and this one off camera, I expanded this little farm right here. I got some more cows and some more sheep. And these sheep are constantly eating grass so I can get lots of wool because... For a medieval house build, I'm going to need a lot of wool, and I've already kind of designed something in a creative test world. I don't know if I'd like it. I'm probably going to modify it in the survival world, but now I already have a little bit over two stacks, almost two and a half stacks of wool here, and I don't think that's enough, so we're going to keep farming this while we go mining. Also, this farm, if you didn't notice, these are like under mature compared to these ones over here because I had a creeper explode on me <laughs> while trying to get these cows not flying out everywhere. So last thing before I show you how to properly mine, I did switch my texture pack from what I was usually using, which was Custom Faithful, and that's only 1.13. I went back to the default programmer art to the classic look of Minecraft, just to make sure that all the builds that I do are going to look good in the original Minecraft texture pack, so you can build it for yourself. Okay, I'm going to get these last few sheep here, just so we can get the most out of everything before we go. I'm going to throw... Just a few, actually this is farming, so put the farm stuff in here, mob drops, and they're put back in the little mountain base. Oh yeah, and the sugar cane grew a lot, so I planted more. I am going to harvest this as well, so we can get a good amount of books for enchanting later on. Also, you can arrange your chest like this. I didn't really explain this. You can arrange chests like this by holding your shift button so you can crouch and then place them. They won't actually lock onto each other unless you crouch and place them next, like you place it on top of the chest, or on the side, I mean. But if you just place it on a block like this, oh, not that, if you just place it, it's not going to connect. So you can sort things easier with a few amount of resources in your beginning days. So I'm going to throw everything I don't need in here. I'm going to keep my food on me. I'm going to cook a little bit more food in here. Keep coal, keep wood on you. I'm going to throw the rest of my sticks back in here. Maybe a little bit of iron in here. Actually, I'm going to bring three more iron on me just in case I need another iron pickaxe. You know what? I'll, I'll bring six. We'll have enough to make two iron pickaxes, we have enough wood to make crafting table and sticks, enough coal to make more torches, which we're probably going to need soon, shield, uh, we don't need a stone axe, I'll keep my shovel in here for now, and a water bucket, it is smart to bring a water bucket you really anywhere when you're playing Minecraft, because, oh, what, really, okay, there we go, I don't want to flowing source because if you're falling down like a ravine or something it's easy to catch yourself if you're going down a large hole or trying to burn uh in the lava so you're gonna place water bucket and it'll make obsidian and we can use the water bucket to make obsidian to actually get ourselves obsidian after we get a diamond pickaxe because we're gonna need that for an enchantment table and other cool things so what i'm gonna go ahead and do is actually just make myself a couple more um pickaxes right now and i can need eight but there we go got two more iron pickaxes we're gonna put those right here and then make that many torches there we go so shield you can keep our shield on us actually I'm gonna put the torch in my off head I did get Optifine by the way I can zoom now and everywhere I go actually is a light source if I have a light in my hand see I'm in a dark space pull out my torch and okay well it doesn't work one not 14 never mind make sure you do have a good supply of food on you because okay that just glitched again there we go <laughs> once we get down there there's really no coming back up until your inventory is full or until you're out of food out of pickaxes and stuff like that so we want to have as much resources as we can to survive down there in order to get the best out of our mind so when I was exploring I also made a tree farm if you didn't see this I just put a clump of trees together because we need a lot of wood anyways oh Okay, last episode when we went down a cave, there was a big drop, and here it is over here, there was a drop, and you can go down this right here, I made a little staircase for myself, and there was actually a block missing, and I didn't realize, and it goes down even further, so this is what I wanted to explore today, I wanted to save it for this episode specifically, so I'm going to get my shield on my hand, just in case there are any mobs down there, because once we get to diamond level, which is Y15, so if we look at our x y and z coordinates right here you're gonna see the y level is in the middle so right now we're at block 49 and diamonds are gonna spawn at level 1 through level 15 and that also includes redstone at level 1 through level 15 you have gold ore which spawns anything below level 31 iron and coal spawn anywhere and emerald ore is very rare it spawns under mountain biomes and they spawn under y level 31 so we're just first going to explore these caves, hopefully we come across, there's some coal there, we don't need coal yet, hopefully we come across a few more things, hopefully, oh boy, P please tell me this doesn't go out, oh, you've got to be kidding me. 
Is that is that is that anything? That's nothing, really. Where are we now? That's too funny. Okay, maybe there's something else down here. Well, it seems like there's nothing else down here. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna build a staircase. Never dig straight down. That's number one rule. Actually, it's kind of arguably the number one rule, but it's very safe not to dig straight down because you can run into lava, you can run into a cave, a ravine, something like that. So dig in a staircase-like pattern. We're gonna go down to the Y level 15, as you can see there. Make sure you place torches if you're digging this path because you're gonna want to have this to prevent mobs from spawning in your staircase so they don't attack you. Oh, and I hear a zombie. I do hear flowing water to my left as well, so it's good to have headphones. If you have speakers, that's okay, but it's really easy. Oh! Okay, well, we broke into something. It's really easy to have headphones on because you can see, not see, but you can hear easily where the mobs are, and that is a skeleton over there. I'm going to take this guy out can't really jump there we go so if you find a structure like this underground this is a mine shaft and they have just little wood areas holding it looks like it's holding up the area so I don't think I want to explore this right now I just want to get myself some diamonds and that's two skeletons okay also these are cobwebs if you break this you can get string you can't actually get the cobweb I don't think in survival mode gotta go to creative to get that also in these mine shafts it is rare to find a chest with a minecart in it or excuse me a minecart with a chest in it it'll have a bit of resources I might be able to find one I'm just gonna look around here but the main objective right now is just finding diamonds so we're just gonna head down any way we can so here we go we can save our pickaxe just getting down and I want to block this water source off there is also a chance in the mine shafts of a cave spider spawner spawning. <laughs> you'll see a spawner and you'll see a bunch of string around it. So if you, I mean not string, if you see a bunch of cobwebs, where'd it go? What the heck? If you see a bunch of cobwebs, then it's most likely going to be a cave spider spawner. There's more iron there, but there's a creeper there. I'm gonna take out this creeper. Come here, buddy. Okay. Nice. I hear a lot of mobs. Oh my. Oh, here we are. So here's redstone. This is what redstone looks like. And we are now at Y level 11. So we are at the level that diamonds will spawn in the world now. Because if you see redstone, you can always find diamonds. Also, if you find this, this blue ore lapis, um, mine it. Okay, there is a, uh, there's a witch. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna stay back get this you're gonna need this for enchanting if you don't find this you're gonna have to eventually because that's what you need to start enchanting items all right I'm gonna get this redstone here redstone could be used for redstone power components I'm probably gonna make a video way in the future of how to make some cool redstone contraptions like doors and stuff and I'm gonna use them probably in some automatic farms so I guess since we're at Y11 the best to mine actually is between Y5 and Y10 because that's where every ore in the game will spawn but I'm just gonna mine here at Y11 just because it's easy. So what you're going to want to do is set up what's called a branch mine. So what you're going to do, you're going to start digging a tunnel. And you can dig this however many blocks you want it to be. And this is also a good time to put your torch in your offhand so you can keep placing them while you mine. And we've already found a little bit of redstone here. Cool. We're just mining out a little area so we can actually start branch mining. some more redstone and also if you hit them or if you walk on them or if you place something on them they do like activate kind of this could be used for like bud power switches and stuff like that later so let's say you have a strip here set up and you're at the correct y level which we're at 11 you're going to start mining out blocks every two blocks we've got some iron this so we're going to mark out an area skip one two blocks mark out another area one two Another area, one, two, another area, one, two, another area. Let's cover this up. One, two, another area. And this is going to allow you to uncover every ore that's in this vicinity on this Y level. So when you mine out two blocks, you're uncovering one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks. You're uncovering eight blocks every. So every block you mine is uncovering four new blocks. And so let's say you found something here. Like, say, pretend this cobblestone was an ore, and it went off to this direction. If you were mining here, you wouldn't be able to see this. So that's why we go every two down, so we can discover all those ores in this area. So now, you just mine. You literally just mine, and when you're done, just come all the way back. And, oh, we got a couple ores here. Look at this. And we got those, so we're just going to patch up our little hole here, so we can keep going in a straight line. And then we just go for it. You just mine until you think you've mined enough, really. 
And wow, we got our first diamonds. That wasn't that was like two seconds after I finished that. I didn't. I'm not even gonna cut that. You guys just saw that. That was insane. So we have our first diamonds here. I'm just gonna mine around these diamonds to see how many we actually have. Hopefully it's a vein of eight. <gasps> it's a vein of eight. So veins are how many will spawn within a chunk of themselves. So th this iron spawn, I think, in a chunk of five. And that's kind of typical. And these diamonds, the rarest is in a chunk of eight. And we just got ourselves a chunk of eight diamonds. Look at this in a two by two by two cube. So unfortunately, we don't have fortune yet. So the very first stage, you're going to have to mine these as they are, and you're going to get one diamond from them. But eventually, once we have a fortune and pickaxe, we'll be able to put the fortune enchantment on the pickaxe, and we'll get, I think, two to four diamonds per ore. And oh, we got some more lapis here. Look at this. Mining's really fun at this level. And we got gold. Look at that. So yeah, collect everything that you can. Everything's really going to help you in your survival. Whether you need it or not at the moment, it's going to help in some point in the future. Except for poisonous potatoes. So I've come across a pool of lava, so I don't think I can mine anymore. Oh, there's some gravel there. So a trick with gravel, I don't know if you know this, if you break the bottom block and replace a torch really fast, you can actually break all the gravel falling down in that area. I'm going to try to get myself... Ooh, there's some lapis here too. I'm going to get myself this iron. Nice. And this lapis. So this lava pool here, if we place our water bucket, we just... I don't know what the word is for it. Maybe fry it. Doesn't seem like it. Maybe we're just steaming all of it. And we got some sitting now. We can't mine this actually until we have a diamond pickaxe, as you can see. And so we have eight diamonds. We need three diamonds for a diamond pickaxe. What we're going to do, we're going to take our wood that we brought with us. And we're going to make a crafting table. Make some sticks here. And make ourselves one diamond pickaxe. And there we are. So we're going to get ourselves right now four obsidian. If you're ever down here, just get yourself four obsidian. We're going to need that in the future for enchanting. We're going to need that for an enchantment table. So I'm just going to grab this. It takes a really long time to mine. There we go. We got one. We got the Ice Bucket Challenge achievement done in the Minecraft tab. There we go. And actually, I could fill a bucket of lava by putting this water in here so we don't lose it. And there we go. We got the hot stuff advancement completed. Later in the game, we're going to get efficiency, which makes your harvesting tool harvest faster. So, yeah, this takes very long time in the beginning, but once we have efficiency and a haste beacon or something like that, we can mine these. Not instantly, but way, way faster than this. After we're done with that strip, we're just going to go on to the next one, and the next one, and the next one. So after mining those diamonds, I have 19 total diamonds. Actually, I have 21 because I used three to make myself a diamond pickaxe. But I now have over a stack and one of iron, a couple stacks, almost three stacks actually of redstone, almost a stack of lapis, and I guess I can get a little bit more coal for now. And then I'm just gonna head right back up to our base. As we come up here, all of our sheep have regrown their wool, which is nice. They've got some to eat, so it's perfect. We can keep harvesting this. And there's a there. Oh, oh, I can't pick up the wool. What am I doing? What am I doing? This, this is not a good situation. Um, no, 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 no. Do not blow up things. Again, please. I beg you. If you can ever spot an enderman, try to have your shield, because when they attack you, you can always block their attacks, and you're going to need a lot of ender pearls, at least, like, eight or nine, probably even ten, if you're going to try to find a stronghold. Next episode, definitely going to be making a first house because we're getting lots more resources. And this is really going to cut it for holding all of our resources. Let's throw an entire stack of iron in there. I guess we'll cook that one wooden pickaxe. Put a bunch of coal in here. Diamonds. We have 20 diamonds now. Check that out. We have plenty of obsidian. And we have books from the shipwreck. And I will show you how to make a book. So in case you don't find a shipwreck, which is very rare, you can make one for yourself. Uh, redstone, put that in here. Mob drops, and stick that in here for now. I am going to keep the bones of me, just so we can grow some more crops. Flint and steel, keep in there. And coal, put in here. Some more sticks. And I am going to need to keep these blocks on me, these cobblestone blocks. I am going to go down mine it a little bit more, but I do need a lot of cobblestone blocks, because I have a cool house planned out for next episode. So I am going to show you how to make a book now, instead of waiting for the enchantment video. So in order to make a book, you're going to need one piece of leather, and you're going to need three paper. Paper is going to be coming from sugarcane. If we take sugarcane right across in the crafting table like this, we get three paper. And we put three paper in the craft table like that, and put one piece of leather 
by right clicking on that to drop only one and we get one book for an enchantment table and full books we're going to need 49 total books so we need to have enough leather to craft all those books right now I only have 22 in here and so we have six here that's 28 total books so I'm gonna go breed a few more cows and kill some more of them because we're gonna need those books sooner than later So as I was mining, I came across this zombie villager. This zombie villager right here. This guy will attack. He's got an iron sword. That is a lot of damage. Whoa. But later on, we can actually find these in the wild and cure them to turn them into actual villagers. And instead of transporting them. I will show you how to transport villagers though. Because that's always helpful. Because if you're not in hard mode, then you won't really find the zombie villagers as much. But... And yeah, that's what they look like. They have no arms, and sometimes in hard mode, they can spawn with weapons. Also, there is a spider spawner over here. You'll know by the fact that there is a ton of cobwebs just sitting here, and I don't want these spiders here and the creeper and a skeleton over there. Really? I haven't shielded that, you guys. Okay, these guys will poison you if you let them hit you. And you'll start taking a lot of damage. So, if you're poisoned, you won't actually die. As you see, my health is going down drastically. So, if you can, try to box yourself up. Put yourself somewhere where mobs can't hurt you. And the poison effect, you'll see, I have no poison left. So, the poison won't actually kill you. It'll bring you down to a half a heart. And so, that can be kind of scary if you've never had that experience before. But, since we have stake here, we're just going to sit here and heal up. And take out that spawner. So, you want to mine it with your own pickaxe. And just use your shield to block all the spider attacks. Alright, there. My health is fully regenerated. Let's go back and actually do this properly without trying to explain something to you guys at the same time. We are going to have to make a diamond sword soon because... Ooh, spiders, that's good. Because this iron sword isn't really cutting it. It's not killing things fast enough. Let's just get that out of here. There we go. We are going to get some XP balls from that. Some spawners you don't really want to destroy if you see a spawner with a skeleton in it. You'll find that dungeon, actually. We'll go over that later if I ever find a dungeon. But, yeah, I'm not going to explore this. Too much because I don't want to get lost. I'm gonna get this gold here and go back up. Oh, over here, this is new. This is a traveling villager. This is brand new 1.14, and he is scared because there's zombies or something. And he ain't gonna stop running for a while. He has a couple llamas with him. If you hit him, they're gonna spit at you. I don't think you'll die from them, though. If you hit the traveling villager, they will spit at you as well. But if the guest guy will like calm down, where, where's he going? I can actually uh, show you. He has trades for you, if you didn't know. It. Can he slow down? Come. Okay, maybe we can click on him. If you just There we go. If you just click, if you right. Click, click. Come here. There we go. Okay, we're in his inventory. This is what he has to trade. These are actually very bad trades. He never has good trades. Wandering villagers never have good trades. So here you are. You can have emeralds. You can trade for some certain things. So actually, melon seeds might come in handy. Let me go get my emerald because I'm actually going to get one melon seed because I don't think there's a jungle around here. Very bad trades. Okay, so here the wandering villager is going to spawn in a very small chance in world. I'm not exactly sure what the numbers are, but there's a small chance it'll spawn in your world and then there's a small chance that he'll spawn within the render distance of the player. So if you find one of these guys, be grateful. They're not very easy to find just in the wild. So I'm going to get one melon seed here. Here we are. What a deal. We got our villager trading achievement done. So actually, if you go into adventure here in our advanced, just by pressing L, you see what a deal. So explore, blah, blah. And what a deal. Successfully trade with a villager. And yeah, so we got a bunch of these to go. Oh, what is that? Strike a villager with lightning. Oh boy. That horse is still there. It hasn't moved. I, f I was here for like a good maybe hour and a half off camera and that horse just still hasn't moved. That is hilarious. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'm going to cook up all these iron ore, probably sort out a few more things in my chest, probably get some more wood because next episode I'm going to be building a proper house. And <gasps> Before we go, okay, so if you see these guys, do not engage because the guy with the banner right there if you kill that guy you have an effect called bad omen which means if you go into your village they summon a raid we'll go over this in a future video this is very scary if you see these guys these are patrols they spawn in packs randomly in your world don't go near them in the early game these guys will probably not kill you but the bad omen effect is really gonna be painful you can actually get it off with a bucket of milk if you just milk a cow but I'm not gonna engage these guys I want to save that information for a future video anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video if you didn't make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time bye bye